Thank you so much for joining today. I'm Meredith Brogan, president of We Go Look. I am thrilled to be here today to help Crawford & Company celebrate our 80th anniversary. We have a great program in store for you today. In fact, in this session, you get to experience our on-demand services. You get a front row seat to see a roof inspector and a looker perform inspections today. Now, I'm sure that all of you are already very familiar with We Go Look. You know that we have over 45,000 independent contractors. You may also know that our independent contractors are within 11 miles of an inspection site. Our turnaround time is really fast. We can deliver in 1.6 days. You may also have heard, recently we expanded our network family. We are now recruiting individuals who are qualified, who have the right certifications and the right experience to get on the roof. They're performing roof inspections, ladder assist assignments, and even interior property inspections. Now having said all that, you may still have questions. You may wonder, what's the gig economy all about? We have 45,000 individuals in our on-demand network, but what do they do? What's the gig economy anyway? We've all read articles that the gig economy is expanding, but what's the benefit? And exactly what type of inspections are they performing for us? So I have a special treat for you today. We have a looker, Jeremy Zach, and a roof inspector, Bruce Carr. They're here today to participate on a panel to answer those questions and many more. So to my Crawford family, welcome to my home where we're gonna see a live inspection. So come on in, let's get started. Hello, my name is Bruce Carr. I'm with Crawford Inspection Services, and I'm here to do a roof inspection. Our client has experienced hail damage, and I'm here to check it out. Let's get started. We're gonna let the homeowner and the adjuster know that we're here. After that, we're gonna locate the safest access point to the roof. Before you scale any roof, you wanna make sure of three things. Number one, that your ladder is securely locked in place. Two, you have specialized roofing shoes. And three, you have your mobile device ready for pictures. Now that we're done, I'm going to notify the adjuster that the inspection is complete, say goodbye to the homeowner, and that is how an inspection is done. Hey, I'm Jeremy. I'm a looker with We Go Look. I just accepted a gig doing an interior inspection. So it's actually just right in the area. So why don't you come and join me? All right, we arrived, let's go check it out. Hello, I'm Jeremy with We Go Look. On behalf of your insurance provider, I'm here to do the interior inspection. Oh, you're exactly on time. Thank you so much for coming. Let me show you to the kitchen. Sounds good. So Jeremy, the flood was right here with the dishwasher. Is there anything else you need from me? No, ma'am. I got everything I need in the app and I'll take it from here. Fantastic. Thank you. Well, as the homeowner said, here is where the damages happened. And all I had to do was capture the images of the area. And here's the great news. The We Go Look app walked me step by step on how to do this job. 
It gave me the instructions and the directions to completely do it. And here's the best thing. All I had to do was hit submit and then we're done. And would you look at that? We have another look, so I gotta go. Hello, I'm Meredith Brogan, president of We Go Look. And I'm excited to host a panel session today with a looker, Jeremy Zach, and a roof inspector, Bruce Carr. We're here to find out a little bit more about our on-demand network. So Jeremy, let's start with you. I know that you've been a looker since 2018. You and I have done lots of assignments together. <laughs> yes. So tell us a little bit about your background. Yeah, my background, uh, grew up in Minnesota, graduated from U University of Minnesota as a business major. Uh, but I spent a lot of my professional work in, in nonprofit, uh, in addition to digital marketing. So that, that's kind of where a little bit of my background comes from. Great, thank you. Now mm -hmm. how about you, Bruce? Tell us a little bit about your background. From Georgia, I uh, mostly sales uh, in the first you know, 10 years of the college. Then I uh, opened up a driving school uh, in 2007, did that for 10 years, uh, 2017, sold the business, uh, got into insurance, and uh, been doing that since. So Bruce, I did not know that, a driving school. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Great, well Team thank only. you both for being here today. Course, thank, thank you. you. All right, so let's talk a little All bit right. about the gig economy. McKinsey and Company came out with a report a few years ago that over 162 million people in the United States and Europe are participating in the gig economy. So Jeremy, let's start with you. How did you learn about We Go Look? <laughs> and tell me, why are you part of the gig economy and why We Go Look in particular? Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. This is probably maybe more of the unconventional route, but uh, Google search engine. I was Googling uh, how to find a side, side part-time gig. I, I, was, I had some free time at night, and I was just thinking, you know, what maybe I should make some money to save up for a vacation, you know, rather than just like sitting on my couch with my cats watching Netflix. Like I was like, I wanted maybe if I have free time, let me make some money. And so uh, I that's how I found we go look. I Googled and I, I, you know, I forget it was like sidegigguru.com. Like, hey, here are the top five that you can do to like make some good money on the side. And so I was like, hey, why not download the app? went through the application process and then got approved and was very, uh, very excited. But I think with uh, the gig economy, it kind of offers two things, at least for me. Um, one, it's that I get to create my own schedule, right? Like if I have this time on a Monday from three to six, like I want that flexibility. Uh, I, I want to have control of my schedule. And then also I want to have a couple different streams of income. So this is, you know, I have my full-time job. I can do a couple different side gigs. And so I think for me, that's what it offered. It offered flexibility of schedule and some different sources of income. Fantastic. Thank yeah. you. So Bruce, how about you? You're part of Crawford Inspection Services, performing roof inspections and ladder assist assignments. Yes. So how did you find Crawford Inspection Services? And if I remember correctly, you were actually one of the very first members of our on-demand right. network. That's right. Uh, so I spent uh, about, what, two years as a, an insurance a field adjuster. So that took me in 2020, uh, that took me to Minnesota, took me to Louisiana a couple times, Delaware, uh, spent time mostly with tornadoes, uh, hail, storms, uh, hurricanes. Um, but you know, with Crawford uh, adjusting um, as an independent adjuster, I got an email uh, inviting me to apply. Fantastic. Well, we are glad that you did. <laughs> Thank you. Because you and I have worked on several roof inspections now. <laughs> yes. Yep. <laughs> All right. So, Jeremy, let's yeah. turn to you and talk a little bit about inspection services. With We Go Look, we offer many different types of services. Yeah. In fact, we call them looks. Mm -hmm. We call our engagements looks. What is your favorite type and why? Mm, done, a, done a wide variety. I would say I look for the looks that have the accidents that go to the junkyard. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, when I see a, that towing company, I get really excited because 
it's I am like where where in the lot is the car so I have to go searching for it the door may be bent there's airbags all over it but I got to get that picture of the dashboard I don't know I kind of like the adventurous side of that so that, that would probably be my favorite so you like the auto damage yeah, I like the, um, the auto damage one never got know what it. you're gonna expect got it so Bruce on the roof inspection side you've performed many inspections for carriers and, and as part of your career. In your opinion, what type of background, expertise, tools are necessary to be successful? I think the first thing is you, you can't be afraid of heights. Uh, that disqualifies me. <laughs> I am so scared. Uh, so that's, uh, as far as background, uh, I think uh, I, I've noticed several different types of backgrounds do this. Uh, I've, I've met in just in crossing paths, you know, people that were in the you know, finance uh, business. Um, so we work uh, a lot uh, outside. Um, so I think as far as the tools, uh, you'll need a ladder. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll need a, uh, some chalk to, to mark up your roofs. Mm -hmm. And um, probably would be best depending on the size or the height or the pitch of the roof. Um, you'll probably need shoes that, that, that you know, uh, offer the, the protection and the stability. Um, but yeah, I think any type of uh, background um, it would, would, would be great for the CIS. Got it. Okay. And also, you didn't mention, but your iPhone. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so talking about technology, Jeremy, WeGoLook uses uh, a proprietary technology to perform our looks. And I know that you have been very interested in the past. You and I have had conversations about the technology. Can you tell us a little bit about the process from when you get an assignment and how you get an assignment all, all the way through to completion? Yeah, so, yeah, like I said, I was so impressed when I went through that onboarding part, uh, piece of that app to get me approved. And so once I got in, I was just so uh, wowed by just kind of had this wonderful job assignment where I got to pick and choose and it felt like those were pretty close by that I could easily get to very fast and so once I agreed that I would do that I would schedule it and then it would send me the automated information with just the description and the look and I was like that was in a matter of probably 15 seconds from the decision of like yes I want to do this job or this look and then I would get that information and then call the client uh, and then that was what was really cool because then it provided this whole dashboard that really kind of step by step walked you through the look that you were a part of and so it was like I was kind of feeling like, oh, I've never done this. I'm walking into this like luxurious like auto body shop, but like it really helped me step through that with wonderful descriptions and able to capture what needed. And then after that, you know, wrote up a little bit of notes that required in that look, and then I hit the submit button, and it, was, and it was good to go. So I was like, that's it. Wow, this is cool. This is fun. So the technology was very, very user friendly, and it made you feel very confident on the job. Fantastic. So do you think that the technology makes it more efficient? I, I think so, right? Because like as a user walking into this, it's not like I've gotten to sit down and meet you and have an right. interview with the, with the look. So it, it, it provided that assistance. It was kind of like this, this virtual ex assistance experience that I got that really helped uh, get what I needed and, and make, uh -huh. be effective, right? It kind of coached you, hey, this is what you needed to say. This is what you need to do. Great. So Bruce, how about on your side? So Crawford Inspection Services actually has a different mobile app. And the reason is because we're capturing very specific information for a roof inspection. So what do you think about the technology? Yeah, I've, I've used others and it's uh, definitely very user friendly. I, uh, you know, it, like Jeremy was saying, uh, with this app, it tells you, you know, exactly what to photograph uh, and when. You know, it, it gives you step by step, you know, uh, photograph the front of the house. Uh, step one, photograph you know, any damage that you see to the roof accessories. Uh, two, three, you know, uh, photograph you know, the, this slope and that slope. So it tells you exactly what to photograph and, and when. Yeah, so I, I do have to remind you, 
that you were uh, our very first <laughs> roof inspection. And after you completed the first one, you sent me an email with a list of things we needed to change. <laughs> so I, I hope you know we've already made all of the oh, adjustments. Good, good. Um, so we, we do welcome the feedback. So we appreciate that. <laughs> Did you guys uh, give them a free ladder we, after that? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great yeah, idea. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jeremy, let's yeah. turn back to you. So our turnaround time. On yeah. average, we go look completes an assignment in 1.6 days. So tell me a little bit about how long it takes you to perform a look. Yeah, so I think it, there's the responsibility on the looker and then there's the responsibility on the client. So what I mean by that is once I make that decision based to do that look, it, it moves really fast, right? And so that scheduling piece is where that could either <laughs> make it really quick or a little bit longer. And so I typically like to schedule, I think, and I, I forgot what the training was, like within the one or two days. Um, and then I would immediately call the client or the, or, and to see if they were available at you know, ASAP. And so I would say, yeah, I would say a day and a half to about three days. But I think sometimes that scheduling and trying, you know, work or traffic or, you know, that was that was sometimes a little bit more difficult to do. But that that would be a very fair assessment from like when I accept that that was the expectation. Mm -hmm. Now, Bruce, yours are quite different to perform a roof inspection. Not only are we completing a full damage report, but we also include a 3D modeling report. So how long does it typically take you to do a complete roof inspection? I was kidding with Jeremy a second ago. Uh, it can range. Uh, it, it really comes down to per building uh, or, or per structure. Uh, I would say anywhere from 30 minutes uh, to an hour. Uh, the reason I was joking with Jeremy is we, uh, in Minnesota, uh, they have these farm ranch policies and we have 15 buildings. So they, it t takes up to three <laughs> hours sometimes uh, to, to address all of the buildings. But, but one home, uh, average size, uh, 30 minutes to an hour. I would also too add, uh -huh. uh, as you were talking there, like with the types of looks that came that that I came across too, document delivery and uh, the intersection inspections, those I could immediately do. So it was just right on the go, and then I really like those too, is because I cool, I got an afternoon free. I'm gonna do this, print these documents out, you know, certify the envelope, and I was good to go. So some of them were really quick on that. Like you could just pop through them. So great. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about client service. Jeremy, beginning with you. We're doing this panel as part of Crawford & Company's 80th anniversary celebration. In 1948, Jim Crawford, the company founder, established the slogan, Top Quality Promptly. From your perspective, is we go look providing top quality promptly? Yeah, I think 100%. Like I would say quality, which we've talked about the technology, because that was my first introduction, right, to the to the company and to how it the the ethos and the values of what you know WeGo Look was about. So I think the quality was the technology. I was like, wow, this is really slick, uh, and the, and the promptness. Like I think too, what I really enjoyed about being a looker is is that you guys require professionalism. Like we are part of your company, right? You're entrusting us to do this job, and so. Um, you have to be prompt. Like you have to know what you're, at least with the documents that you've prepared us or the job or the look that you need to do, you need to be ready to go. And you need to present yourself walking into, you know, somebody's house or, you know, a car dealership or junkyard. Like you just gotta be, present yourself like, hey, I belong here. I'm part of this company and let's get the job done. So you have to be very prompt. So I would, I would completely agree with that. Fantastic. So Bruce, turning to you, client service. Last year, when COVID-19 pandemic began, many insurance carriers focused on increasing their desk adjusting work. Is Crawford Inspection Services a solution to support desk adjusting? And are we providing top quality promptly? Uh, yes, uh, with, uh, w once we do an inspection of the roof, uh, the report that's generated is, is top notch. Uh, we're pulling pictures of damage from the roof, from the accessories, uh, so that you know, prevents a desk adjuster having to be out here. Um, and by far, quality, top notch. Mm -hmm. Now, are we also supporting field adjusters in some way? Absolutely. 
Uh, I've met field adjusters um, with Crawford Inspection Services and uh, they went inside uh, to do the interior and they left me with a roof. And then we collaborated after and uh, got it done. <laughs> All right, last question. Jeremy, what's your favorite thing about working for We Go Look? And would you recommend We Go Look to others? Yeah, I'd, two thumbs up, highly recommend. And, but with the, the disclaimer of it's adventurous, right? It, that's why I like it, it's, it's different. Typically, you know, in this gig economy, uh, you're either driving or you're delivering. This one, you're going out in the field. Uh, you're gonna have to get in your car, you're gonna have to go somewhere, you're gonna have to interact with people, you're gonna have to do this look that's probably not <laughs> normal, nor have you ever done it. Like, that's, that's what I really enjoyed about it. And so, uh, uh, for me, I, I saw it as an opportunity to just get into an industry that exposed you a lot to how it works. Uh, you know, it's kind of funny now, like I'm driving on the side of the road, I see an accident, I'm like, I'm all right, this is what's gonna have to happen, you know? There's an insurance company, someone's gonna have to go and do that look. And so it kind of, mm -hmm. it, it educated me too on like mm -hmm. stuff that, you know, insurance companies, we all have to have it. And so kind of seeing behind the scenes was actually really cool for me too. <laughs> yep. Great, now how about you, Bruce? The same question. Um, would you recommend this job to others? Absolutely. Uh, being a field adjuster, uh, we're gone for sometimes two, four months. Uh, so the, the, we've got peak season and then we got sometimes a lower season. So I think that's probably one of the, my favorite parts is uh, uh, being able to still work out, uh, you know, while and, and keep keep fresh on the inspecting skills while you wait for the next storm. Yeah. So absolutely, I, I would recommend this to you know anyone. Fantastic. Well, thank you both so much for being on the panel. Thank you. And thank mm -hmm. you for watching us today. I hope you learned a little bit more about our on-demand services. And to to reiterate what Jeremy already said. We Go Look provides an opportunity for you to do different types of inspections rather than the gig economy that mainly focuses on driving or delivering. This is something very different. Thank you very much for joining us today.